This technique has helped me win so many more fights in Mortal Kombat 1, and today I'm teaching you how to do it so you can win more and be a better fighter. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and let's get into this technique. So as we know in fighting games, a big portion of your offense is your defense and that is blocking. And in any fighting game, you can block high and you can block low. We know that, or at least I hope you know that. We have moves that are overheads. So in order to block those, you block high. You just stand and block. We have lows. In order to block though, you crouch block. And we know the opposites there. If I crouch block and get hit with an overhead, I'm gonna get hit by the overhead. If I'm stand blocking, then I'm gonna get hit by some low move. That's the beauty of fighting games. You try to go for the mix up, stuff like that. Well, Mortal Kombat 1 has introduced a new blocking technique called up block. And it is not being talked about enough on Twitter, on Reddit, even on YouTube. No one's really talking about it. And I know some of you guys in the comments might be like, whoa, at one step, saw Fox on Twitter told us all about that. Like, I don't care. No one's really talking about it and you guys need to be utilizing. I'm seriously, my win rate has gone way up since utilizing this and using it effectively. So to quickly go over it, we have stand block like this. Now this will block overheads. Yes, but what you can do is you can hold up and block. You see how our blocking stance change there. So I'll show you again. We up block. Now the thing you need to know about up block is you cannot just hold it. I'm holding up. As you see, we have to go down it, meaning it has active and recovery frames and what recovery frames means for you as the fighter is if you miss this up block or your opponent guesses it you have that amount of frames before you come back down to stand block and then crouch to low block so a lot of times if i see it coming i'll jump in for the overhead they'll up block i won't do anything and i'll go for the low move free combo for me it's also got startup frames so it's not instant so i'm gonna press up it's really fast yes but there's still a startup frames on it so in the comments is gonna be like actually there's only three frames on startup and like five i don't care the point is it's got frame data and you'll get used to the timing of it as you use it more but what this does for you is it's pretty similar to a flawless block for an example on the ground it stops your opponent in their tracks and their combo strings so if you up block a jump in for an example right so for me i like to jump in and then three four and that's an overhead starter and i have a combo to start from there but if i get up blocked on that i can't do my three it just it stops me in my tracks so we'll show you how that actually looks and how it feels to actually do it so we're gonna have scorpion jump in we're not gonna up block we're just gonna block and you'll see we can't really punish him because he's gonna block before we can hit him here's how that looks we stop and we try to go for the hit but we're just not gonna do anything because he can block before we can actually punish him i'm trying and i'm smashing my lightest attack you know like, smash 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 nothing but if we up block and we can hit him before he can recover from being up blocked giving us our turn back and a free combo Four hundred twenty damage off of an up block. I'm simply just blocking an overhead. Now keep that in mind. That only works on overheads. Now doing an up block on the ground, you still will block your highs and mids. Yes. So we're gonna up block here. You see, we still block the high attacks. So besides a jump in, those are always overheads. Knowing what your opponent's moves are that are overheads is gonna be a huge advantage, you know, versus like Baraka or Johnny or even Raiden. Sub-Zero and his back two. Rain and his two hits that are overhead as well for starter. You can up block all of those and punish your opponent accordingly. I'm not joking you, man. This has helped me win so many more fights. But at the higher skill ceilings, you'll notice that they will bait out the up block so that way they can go for the low attack. So be careful of that. Don't rely on it all the time, but man, Man, it's an amazing tool. Let me know down below how useful do you think Uplock is? I love it and I think it's one of the most useful new things they've added to Mortal Kombat 1 personally. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.